Hello friends, in this video we will discuss some questions from ISS 2018 paper 1. First let's consider question number 3. The question is, let x be a random variable having probability density function f of x equal to x by 2, 0 less than x less than or equal to 1, 1 by 2 when 1 less than x less than or equal to 2 and 3 minus x by 3 when 2 less than x less than or equal to 3. Then what is the probability that 1.5 less than x less than or equal to 2.5 given x greater than 1. By definition, we can write this conditional probability as probability that 1.5 less than x less than 2.5 intersection x greater than 1 given probability that x greater than 1 but uh, 1.5 less than x less than 2.5 intersection x greater than y eh, sorry x greater than 1 is equal to 1.5 less than x less than 2.5 thus this conditional probability can be written like this now this probability first let's consider probability that 1.5 less than x less than 2.5 which is given by integral 1.5 to 2 1 by 2 dx plus integral 2 by 2 to 2.5 1 minus that is 3 minus x by 3 can be written as 1 minus x by 3 that is integral 2 to 2.5 1 minus x by 3 dx which is equal to by 24 and uh, 9 by 24 and for x greater than 1 we can obtain this probability by using 1 minus probability that x less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 which can be obtained by uh, integrating from uh, 0 to 1 and the density at 0 to 1 is x by 2 x by 2 dx x by 2 dx solving it will be equal to 1 by 4 thus 1 minus uh, this probability will be equal to 3 by 4 Hence, 9 by 24 divided by 3 by 4 will equal 1 by 2. Uh, we get 9 divided by 24 into, means uh, divided by 3 by 4 will be equal to by 4 divided by 3, which will be equal to 1 by 2. Thus, the answer is option B consider question number 5 which is uh, the question is let x and y be jointly distributed with the, this pdf then which of the following statement is correct x and y is independent or x square and y square is independent given the joint uh, density function we can find the marginal densities of x and y but here there is a problem that if we try to find the marginal density of x um, this is given by integral over y f of x comma y dy which is equal to the range of y is minus 1 to 1. Uh, thus, it is equal to minus 1 to 1 x plus 1 by y dy. By taking the integration, we obtain log y with a lower limit minus 1 and an upper limit 1. Integration does not exist. Thus, the problem, uh, question number 5 is dropped out. Let's consider question number 8. The question is, if x follows normal distribution with mean 4 and variance 100, then the distribution of y equal to 1 by 2 into x minus 4 by 10, the whole square is. We know, given x is normal uh, with the mean 4 and variance 100, that is standard deviation 10, by standardizing, we know x minus 4 by 10 follows in 0, 1, and squaring, we get it is the square of a standard normal distribution is chi square with 1 degrees of freedom. Also, we know the moment generating function of chi square distribution is given by 1 minus 2t power minus 1 by 2. Okay, so um, let me define this quantity that is x minus 4 the whole square by 100 to be ez. Then we can write y equal to uh, ez by 2 given the variable y can be rewrite re re as x uh, divided by 2 
that is uh, using the then uh, using the property of moment generating function we have the moment generating function of z then uh, moment generating function of z by 2 is can be rewritten as m z of t by 2 which is equal to 1 minus t power minus 1 by 2 this is the moment generating function of gamma distribution with the parameter 1 by 2 therefore the answer is option c let's consider question number 6 the question is let x be a random variable with pdf f of x equal to 2 by x cube x greater than or equal to 1 and 0 if x less than 1 which of the following is correct both mean and variance so the statement is uh, related to mean and variance so let's check the mean expectation of x which is given by summation over x into f of x that is 2 by x cube since this uh, series is convergent our mean exists now let's consider expectation of x square since variance of x is equal to expectation of x square minus e of x the whole square so let's consider expectation of x square which is given by summation over x square summation over x x square into f of x which is equal to 2 by x cube but since this series, uh, this series is not convergent, this diverges, thus the expectation of x square does not exist and hence variance also does not exist. Therefore, the answer is uh, the mean exists but the variance does not exist, that is option B. Now let's consider question number 7. The question is let x be a random variable following binomial distribution with parameter n equal to 13 and p equal to 0.3. Consider the following statement. Mode of the distribution x is 3 and the distribution is negatively skewed. Here for a binomial distribution the mode is the integral part of n plus 1 into p. Here n equal to 13 and p is given to be 0.3 then n plus 1 into p will be equal to 4.5 which is and the integral part is 4. Thus the mode is equal to 4. Now the mean for a binomial distribution is np uh, that is 13 into 0.3 which is equal to 3.9 approximately 4. But for a mm, therefore the mode of the distribution is not 3 therefore this statement is wrong now let's consider the condition for a negatively skewed distribution for a negatively skewed distribution the mean is less than mode and the alignment of the distribution curve will be like this so here the mode is 4 and mean is nearly again 4 thus the condition for a negatively distribute skewed distribution thus uh, the given uh, binomial distribution is not negatively skewed Therefore, both the statements are wrong. Neither 1 or D. That is option. Sorry. Uh, neither 1 or 2. Therefore, the option D is correct. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.